Good morning. Today in the lather games, it is use your most expensive setup. Now I've talked about how Martin DeCondre can actually be a budget soap because it may be expensive, but it lasts so long time. It gives you so many shaves that it, it's not an inexpensive soap when you compare it on a per shave basis. However, uh, the cost of the tub is large. So that's why I have it today, and I do enjoy using it quite a bit. But for those of you who are not buying it because you think it's expensive, uh, do the math, and you may reconsider if you do want to uh, uh, try using it then it can be a, a very budget-friendly soap. Uh, another one is the B5. This is a B5 from Declaration Grooming. I, I don't really, I've gotten my, I've gotten good deals on brushes. I have paid some for uh, a, a couple like, like this one, but there are such uh, more expensive ones out there, and but I just don't feel the need. Um, because the, I, I just wanted a couple of declaration brushes, and that's what I've got. Um, and then the mid-range and even the lower range just present me with such uh, enjoyment, you know. All right. Uh, this is my other w, WR2 Wolfman. Uh, this one, as you can see, has a nice polish to it, and it's the Aristocrat handle. My other W2 that I just got in, I used the other day. It's a brushed. And so this is the polished one. And of course we have the Martin de Candre soap. This is the vetiver scent. And I've used it a few times and it almost looks like I haven't used it at all. But uh, I'm, I'm wait, looking forward to when I've used it 30 times to see what it looks like. Just a nice vetiver scent, kind of fresh. Uh, not a heavy vetiver at all. It's very uh, plant-like. All right, let us throw on the blade. I have just taken a shower, so my face is well hydrated. And the little count tab there shows us that this is use number 289. So my blindfold shave yesterday got put on the watch list of interesting shaves for the lather games. Not going to get as much uh, kind of credit for it since it was a week late. There's my three dots. I'm just showing you the signature of the blade to show that it's the same nasset each time. But, you know, I'm playing how I, I can this time. I, I can't fully engage and, and do everything right this time. I've just got so much going on in life. And so I think that's going to give me more enjoyment uh, during the games, less pressure, just having fun. And then also, there are going to be so many people not getting any prizes this year because we had a, a massive amount of people join in and this, the, uh, the prizes and sponsorship type things, um, uh, you know, are kind of on the smaller side in relation to the large number of people. All right. Now, MDC is kind of a hard soap. I don't think it's technically a hard soap, but it might be. I am going to, uh, my brush is soaked for a few minutes. Shake most of the water out. Let's do like a 30 second lather. O2 rolled around right there. You don't need to know that O2 rolled around, but when I say it, it makes it easier for me to remember when I get to 32 that I need to stop. So I'm mainly saying that for my benefit. So obviously we are, this is, this is how you load from full tubs like this. You just kind of have to let it overflow. If you have such frothiness right there, um, you can play around and that's 30 seconds. Eh, yeah, let's just, let's just try that. Um, you can see I had my brush kind of wet. We got an airy, frothy, lather right there. We can always go back to the tub if that happened to not be enough time. Now you can play around. If you get something this airy, it might be worth playing around um, and you don't like it. Maybe you don't like as much mess. 
you could just shake out a little bit more water from your brush. Start with a slightly drier brush. Some guys out there will squeeze their brush to get out a lot of the water, but I like to have a little bit of water in my brush when I load. Now this is the B5 knot on this uh, hammer and chisel handle. I think that's just such beautiful coloring. At first, I didn't really think I would like this shape, but B5s were hard to come by. It's one of my favorite declaration knots. So I went ahead and bought the brush and I've come to really enjoy the shape. It, it, it's ergonomic, it works really well. See, it does keep my fingers, I have a good grip right here because of this little uh, valley right here. I have a good grip and my fingers aren't super close to the knot. And so those suds coming up from the mixing process have a little ways to go before they get to my fingers. Ah, see, look at that. There's plenty of lather in there. I loaded plenty of soap. I, I'm glad I didn't opt for a longer load just in case. So the blindfold shave was yesterday. It was a week late. It was a Lather Games Daily Challenge about a week ago. But, you know, I figure a little virtual credit is better than none. Plus, I just wanted to kind of do that for the community in the game so they would be able to say that more than just a couple of people did it. Two teaspoons. Now three. Now adventurous would be a straight razor blindfolded shave. But I would have to get more experience for that. Four teaspoons. That might be all. Forgot to look at my notes to see if I left myself a reminder about how if this lather likes to be run a little drier, you know, or that kind of thing. Or if it can hold, you know, tons of water like sterling or you know, some of the other great soaps. If you kind of get into the process and your lather's still airy and bubbly, not really calming down into kind of a nice cream like this, then a couple of things are probably your culprit. Um, need to mix for a little bit longer. That's usually the case with Williams. Now, if you've mixed for a good, you know, couple minutes after that, if you keep going and, but it still doesn't improve, you probably just didn't load enough soap. As you can see, he's Still able to hold himself up pretty well. So let's add the fifth teaspoon. This might be a vegan soap. I've been on the lookout because I do enjoy the lather that this brand gives me for years you know i've been watching but maybe pick up another scent but to be honest most of the other ones don't really intrigue me very much there's rose and maybe another feminine one um, i tried the fougere but it just wasn't quite my speed at least at the time it's possible i could try it again and like it but I uh, didn't care for that one. So I may be, I may, I'm just going to enjoy a vetiver. That's fine. You don't have to have a bunch of soaps from every vendor, you know. There we go. 
I like this one better. He can still support his weight if I pull him up in the right way. But he still cocks over when I move the bowl. I could probably still add some more water, but I need to get going. So let's do it. All right. Now, some people believe that MDC is a soap that's overrated. And I would totally agree, except when you bring in the number of shaves it gives you. I would be really annoyed if I got this soap in. As an American, you're probably going to pay about 60 or 70 bucks if you want to order fresh from the manufacturer. And so if I paid that much and got this lather, which is one that's really nice in my opinion, but maybe not, you know, twice as nice as some other representatives that we have uh, here on this side of the pond, you know, then I might definitely put it in the overrated category definitely needed to add more water to this lather. Very creamy and slick. Feels great on my face. The little blop here came about as I was adding more water to the brush. However, regarding the topic of underrated. When I look at the pro actual price per cost, I haven't done a true scale test where I measure, where I do a bunch of shaves with it, and then I um, feel like I've gotten a good sample size, you know. Okay, now I think I've got did I do, did I say seven teaspoons? I added uh, two more from what I said. Let the foam, let the lather sit on my face for just a second. I want to kind of integrate this uh, extra water into the bowl here. So I actually think that it's not an underrated soap. Great performance. If you like the scents, then great scents. If you want more exciting, less classic scents, then yeah, MDC is probably not going to be the soap for you. But you look at the cost per shave after you realize that you can get, you know, two, maybe even three years of shaves out of it, out of that $70, then it I think that makes it just jump itself out of that uh, overrated category because you're getting a really nice performance for pretty low cost. A little bit of tugging, not too bad though. Tons of good stuff on my go-to. So we can use that for the trouble spot. Yeah, this feels great. Why wow, they're very slick, tons of cushion, all that good stuff. Yesterday's vintage Gillette new flat bottom 
did a much better job than this razor did just now at taking off the first pass. I feel like I need to do a another with the grain pass because I've got some some stubble that just wasn't taken off that normally would have been. I don't mind four passes with this old blade. I might draw the line at five though regarding when to stop using this guy. Just light blade feel now, not really any tugging. You can definitely tell that a, a good amount was taken off even though my hand, you know, felt stubble. Love the looks of this WR2. Little half rinse. Water out of goatee. Don't want it to drown my lather. Of course, if you like that first pass I did, I kind of came in with a little bit too dry of a lather. You could leave some lather in and not take the water out of your goatee and rely on that coming in to help out your lather with some more hydration. So third pass, but my format is now going to be the same as my second pass. Kind of cross grain as I do this across my, my neck. Loose hold on the razor is always just tight enough to be able to control it, but kind of letting the head float lightly across my skin. A little extra work on the trouble area. Oh yeah, that's such a creamy lather. Great slickness. It's not super thick, but you do get a luxury feel. Yeah, see now I've got a slick face. That with with cross did a great job. Now just uh, polish it. Polish things off. Yeah, I did get plenty of lather built from the load of soap. That frothiness, you know, sometimes makes you think you didn't really gather enough soap, but, but it looks like I've got an extra three or four passes here, and, and that's with me doing four passes. So I could definitely reduce the load time to maybe 20 next time, 20 seconds. All right, now we'll do the pattern for the, what I usually do is a third pass shave, which is strikingly similar to the pass two pattern, cross grain on my cheeks. Now this is a pattern for me, maybe not for you. Um, you know, you, uh, you may be able to go against the grain on the, on the third pass, you know, get closer shaves. So I trim around my trouble spot like that, and then I switch over a little bit of skin tightening. And then I'm going to do that once more with my beard lather. And that will just uh, be it. If I'm careful, I don't. Increase irritation. Keep that light touch. Sometimes I go for that extra pass on the trouble spot and I 
I don't get any closer of a cut and I just get more irritation. So it's a, it's a gamble sometimes. All right, uh, full rinse. All right, uh, skin felt great. Felt very clean shaven. And uh, I do have several, you know, spots on my neck where uh, you've got some hairs that are cut flush and just a few hairs that are showing just a little bit of length and that's, that's all right. It's, it's, they're just a few. So it's a very nice shave closeness. This is. L'Occitane, L'Occitane, is how you pronounce that, maybe, I'm guessing. Let's see if my high school French holds me true. Uh, Cade, and uh, it's not a cheap balm, but I do enjoy this scent. And I use it, it'll take me a long time to get through this because I just don't use it all the time. So, uh, that cost... I don't think it's super expensive, but that cost uh, is going to be enjoyed over years. You know, I've already had it two years. I need to use it more, I think. The Cade Rich Cream is uh, discontinued now, and but this has got kind of that same scent. Uh, definitely an exotic, expensive uh, kind of scent, at least to me. There we go. I like to put that on when... Uh, my face is freshly wet. Helps really helps to spread it around and to make more balm go farther. So I believe the water count for today was seven teaspoons. I think I told you at one point that I had five in. So that would make this seven. 30 second load. So I can reduce that load definitely because of all the extra lather that we have here. Don't really have time to do a comprehensive lather analysis like I often do. So let's just do a quickie. Yeah, the slickness there, it's like a, a silky light feel. And the, the luxury of the cream, the lather here is just terrific. It resists you pressing in just a little bit. It's, it's very well hydrated. It's moving around on me. You know, it is, uh, that's, that is just right for, for this soap, in my opinion. Totally luxurious. And so when you, uh, when you think about the price tag of, you know, $70 per use or for three months of use, I think that's overrated. But when you, Take, seven, take the 70 and divide it by 300. That's a different story. I think that's the more accurate story. So this is a wonderful, wonderful knot. Very dense. So you do have to watch out and give it an extra long, uh, extra bit of time in the rinsing to make sure you get that soap out of the middle part. Big fan. Love that little brush. All right, use 289 is in the books. Rinse out the head of the razor here. And then I disassemble. Put it off to the side to be, each piece to be dried off. The blade to be gently padded, not wiped. And I will clean up my gear. So today in the lather games was splurge day was the title you use your most expensive uh, setup. So that'll be uh, neat to watch. Look at uh, what other people have. If they, if you're curious about that, you can find the daily thread on uh, our wet shaving on uh, Reddit and, uh, and find today's thread. It uh, looks like tomorrow is a, is the opposite uh, kind of. In terms of you're using a soap that is found at your local pharmacy or grocery store, that kind of thing. And that's not a, a lot of choices, at least for me. Um, I can find Williams in certain, a few places. That's what I'm going to be using. I enjoy Williams. Uh, but otherwise, in terms of actual soaps, that's maybe Vanderhagen. You know, sometimes you can find Vander, the Vanderhagen puck around. 
So I guess that would be, those are the two choices that are probably uh, to me in my region, unless I want to move out of the soaps and, and into a, uh, a cream. You know, obviously, Cremo is everywhere. I've kind of heard it's a little bit inferior, but so I haven't really tried it. Um, but, uh, you know, N Neutrogena has uh, some uh, creams or gels or whatever they have. Um, uh, I've, I've, Every Man Jack has a few, rep a few places where, uh, but I believe theirs is a brushless cream that they have. But anyway, so it's, uh, it's what you can find in the local grocery store or pharmacy. I believe our European friends are going to have the advantage there. I've had a chance to try out the tube of palm olive, which is just terrific. Um, it, uh, it's a cream and it has a traditional scent. I, I tried the classic scent and it, it's, it is classic, definitely. And I enjoyed it and the performance was really, really good. Uh, even for a cream. I mean, especially for a cream. So I think uh, some of the Euro European and, you know, I bet the, the areas of the world, like maybe India and China and those kind of guys where I think you have a much larger percentage of uh, men shaving with double-edged razors I think those areas are probably going to have the greatest, nicest selection at their uh, grocery stores and pharmacies and things like that, since they have to, they have a higher demand for that market. All right. Well, very cool, guys. Been a good shave. I thoroughly enjoyed the lather, the razor, the balm, uh, the brush, as always. It's terrific. It's got just enough backbone to keep those tips at my face, and those tips are so soft but it's still relatively easy to display so it doesn't shove me around or anything like that so i'm a big fan i hope that this one's been good for you it's got some good info for you this is sugar daddy shaves you take care